As as Zero opens the case and the light just shines out on him, I just look at him and go, are we happy? I'm so... I've never been so happy in my life. I've never been so happy to kill somebody. So, uh... Loki's going to get on his phone and make a phone call. He's going to call Bear. Um, all right. You try and call. Uh, it rings. It rings. It rings. Rings. Nobody picks up. It goes. Your call has been forwarded to an automatic voice message system. Okay. Um, then Loki and then you, is... You uh, will quickly get a text message not long after that saying, very busy. <laughs> contact you later. <laughs> All right, I'm going to send him a text message back then. Uh, okay. Since he's responding to that, so that'll work. I'm going to send him a text message back saying, uh, do not go to Crusher. Lead the bird away. Uh, it's a delayed few moments, and then you get a Roger. Okay. All right, so that's handled. Um, so this, I, I hit this manager dude with a slap patch, so he's like fast asleep, right? Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna take his clothes. Okay. Uh, and then lock him back in the uh, into the VIP lounge. <laughs> yeah, the the shipping container that we have is a makeshift prison <clears throat> with VIP spray painted on the <laughs> spray painted on the side. Of it. Don't forget those uh, air holes that were Two. shot into the top of it. Two buckets as well. Okay, a oh, table yeah. and a toilet. Two buckets. And the ventilation holes that were shot into the side of it but involuntarily. I don't get why people keep talking about the VIP lounge like it's a bad thing. All right? I just... We've worked hard on it, okay? Hey, look, you know, it's it's worked so far for the purpose that we intended it for. It, so, very, ha it very much has. <laughs> all right. So, yeah, we're... Yeah, it's, it's doing its thing. So, uh, I've, got a, I've got this dude's clothes. Um, Loki is going to... Uh, change into the guy's clothes and then shift his face into the manager's nice. face yeah uh so that i i am now looking and sounding like the manager um okay i'm, I'm gonna shoot zero a text message uh actually i'm gonna shoot zero and kaze both a text message um tell him don't worry uh about all that noise uh we're gonna have a meeting later so like meet meet back at jotunheim in two hours all right. Uh, so Zero and Kaze, both your phones will go off around the same time. Uh, Kaze, you're still gathering up uh, the rest of the, the stuff from Nova Hot when you get this text message from Loki. And Zero, you're about to wander outside to look for this helicopter, and you get this text message from Loki. I'm texting back R, the letter R, U, sure, question mark. It's really loud, and I can't get anything done. Uh, I'll just text him back, uh, like, oh, A-OK, -okay. don't worry about it. Go back to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> Why does he assume I'm asleep? It's the middle of the... Uh, I, I send him back the poop emoji. <laughs> and then go back to my work. All right. So uh, I'm going to change into my clothes. So they were the manager's clothes, I guess, and then uh, I'll hand hand off uh, my my gear and tell one of my guys to take it up to my room. Uh, but before okay. he goes, I need him to beat me up. You need him to what? Beat me up. How bad? Uh, like I need like you know a black eye, maybe a bloody nose, fat lip, or something. He looks around. <laughs> Uh, gives you a couple punches to the face, a couple to the gut. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah, you look beat up. I'm guessing I take like a, what, like a light wound or something from this. Uh, you'll have. Um, mm, I don't. Not a light wound. Uh, I'd say you'd have um, two boxes of lights done. Okay. 
because you're just beat up and bruised. You're not like he didn't cut you or anything. <laughs> okay. Um, and then I'm hopping in the Americar and I'm going to the location of the photo shoot that the manager gave us where he said Crusher was going to be. Okay. Yeah, the stolen Americar is amazing. Just... <laughs> this green stolen Americar, no one will have suspected it. Is that the drive-by car? That was the, uh, yeah, that was the drive-by car. Okay. All right. I just wanted just, to check. Just to make sure. <laughs> yes, it's the drive-by car. Uh, all right. It only takes you uh, about an hour and a half or so to uh, get downtown where you need to be. Okay. Um, so I'm going to, what kind of building is it? What am I looking at here? Um. It just looks like so the way that you that you're driving up to it and everything. It just has it's, it's like a nondescript building. It looks like any other apartment building, really. And there's a drive-in spot for um, parking your car in an underground garage. And it looks like just any other old apartment building that you see, almost like the one from last time. Oh, wow. okay, great. <laughs> from last episode. <laughs> All right. Uh, well, I guess I'll I'll park the car in the street. Okay. Um, walk up to the front door. Is there like a buzzer or something? Uh, there's there's no buzzer. Um, looks like there's a small computer interface. Okay. Uh, open up the interface. Let's check it out. Okay. Uh, it has a bunch of different names listed for the apartment building. Okay, do I see the name of, or the, like the number of the the apartment? Uh, you can see the apartment number. Okay, can I like buzz that number? Yeah. Okay. Uh, the screen will f flash over to, now it's like a, uh, a video conference. And you see some guy looking at you very confused. It, it, it's a long story. I need I need to talk to Crusher right now. Buzz me in. Come on. I need to talk to Crusher. Let's go. Yeah, yeah, hang, hang, hang on, hang on, hang on. Uh, you hear a... And the doors will slide open. All right, I'll come inside. I'll run up the stairs. <laughs> All right, you run up the stairs. You're a little winded by the time you get to the apartment door. Uh, that same like just nondescript bodyguard looking guy just opens up the door you okay oh, no. Your face no I'm not I, I, I'm not okay I'm not okay I need to talk to, to Crusher right now uh, where yeah where he, is he? Lead, he leads you back into back into the room and you can see uh, Crusher's there it's like he's doing some kind of ad for uh some gym equipment. When I work out, I use power lift. Fantastic. And then they're taking some photos of him standing next to the equipment, lifting some of the equipment. All right. Um, I'm going to like wait just like a, a minute or two mm -hmm. until there's like a good spot for me to break in. Sure. And then, uh, all right, listen up, everybody. Photo shoot's over. Uh, Crusher, you're with me. We got to leave right now. We'll we'll get back to this another time. What? I, I'm having a, this is a blast. Why I have, what do I have? To look at the table. There's a full spread of food and an assortment of drugs and candy dishes. Listen, grab, grab something on the way out. Get a, get a doggy bag or something. We got to go right now. Look at my face. You see this right here? Okay, look, they, somebody's after you. They came for me. And they're coming for you. Call in the, you know, the VTOL like last time, and we'll just get out of here. Uh, I, so he's I, just I, randomly is just picking stuff up and shoving it in his pockets. I, I already did that. I don't know if they're compromised. We got we got to leave right now. I got a car downstairs. You're with me. Let's go. I'm gonna get you out of here. 
not that same crappy car you came to pick me up in after the bar fight, is it? No, it's a different one. I had to steal it. Okay, they kidnapped me, Crusher. They kidnapped me, okay? Kidnapping. I barely got away with my life. You act like this hasn't happened before. You need to calm down. Here, take take some of these. He hands you some blue and white pills. I'm going to smack him out of his hand. I, I need my wits about me right now, okay? I can't take anything right Look, Come on, let's go. We, we, crazy? Those we, are your favorite. We can party later, okay? We got to get you out of here right now. We can't go back to my apartment, okay? That's They, they came for me there. Uh, we we got to get you someplace safe. So I... Who is they? I don't know. I have no idea, but somebody's after you. We got to get you out of here. You got a big game coming up. That's the only thing that matters. If you lose that game, all of this goes away. I know you don't want the train to end, and neither do I. We need to go right now. Can I roll, like, uh, some kind of, like, persuasion? Persuasion? Yeah. Yep. Yeah, he believes you. Sure, sure, yeah. You, you say it's bad, and, you know, I, I got to stay in shape. I'm the ace of the team, so, yeah, I guess we'll go cram myself into this crappy car you got again. Look, I'm looking out for you, all right? It, it won't be a long ride. We're just going to get you where you, you know, where, where you're going, and... If you were looking out for me, you would have got me one of those limos like you did on my birthday. <laughs> I, I, hey, I know, I know. That limo was nice, wasn't it? That was nice. I didn't have time, though. I didn't have time, chum. All right. Well, let, well, let's he, get you out of here. He makes his way slowly downstairs with you. Doesn't really care. Go Walks right out the doors, like not a care in the world. Waits for you, follows you to the Americar, parked, in the, parked across the street. All right, this this piece of directs us. I know. Look, you, I had to steal you, it. Okay, you boosted this. Are you serious? Well, I mean, it was what was there. They left the keys in it. What do you want me to tell you? They had me out in the barracks. <sighs> this is a terrible place. You should definitely call later and have this taken care of. That's all uh, I have to say. About but that. believe me, that's that's on it. But you know, my number one priority is you, Chummer. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I I understand. Look, we're definitely going to talk contract numbers later on. All right, you that's, need to stop fine, putting it fine. off. That's that's fine. That's fine. I yeah, understand. yeah, yeah. I I'm understand. getting in. I'm getting in the back. You drive. All right, no problem. Opens up the back door, just slams it shut, <laughs> rummages around in his pockets. Just grabs a handful of something and just. All right, uh, I'm gonna uh, take a, a quick U-turn, start driving. Um, I'm gonna hand him back my phone, real quick. As like, like first, like stoplight, we are starting to approach. I'm gonna hand him back my phone and be like, "Hey, I need you to call somebody for me, real quick." You you go to hand him back, hand the phone back to him, and he doesn't take it. And if you glance back behind you, it looks like he's passed out in the back seat. Yeah, I'm. Yeah, I'm gonna pull in somewhere, <laughs> uh, put it in park, and I'm gonna turn around and shoot him in the neck with my narco jet. You, you don't have to roll for it. Point blank. Just... Okay, fantastic. So yeah, he's okay. Not getting up anytime soon. The last thing I need is for him to wake up and. <laughs> All right, you watch the dart just into his neck and you see him just do this and then more drool out of his mouth perfect all right uh back to back to jotunheim then speeding on back to jotunheim no no not speeding uh, okay i'm driving the speed limit ah uh, now now my favorite part do you want odds okay there we go here we go so lucky. Okay, odds it is. You get back in, a, you cross back over the border of the Barrens into Taurusville. You know that you're pretty home free from here. Okay, perfect. Um, I'm gonna park somewhere and go through his pockets. <clears throat> uh, he has a he has a flip phone on him. Um, he has a uh, sealed baggie. It looks oh. like it's been vacuum sealed, uh, and it has uh, solid red pills inside it. I'll take those. Uh, and then the, the rest of his pockets is an assortment of candy from where you just were, and some uh, some of those blue and white pills. And there's a couple pink and one purple one that's uh, stamped with something. Oh, 
Okay, well, I'll take all the pills. No cred stick, huh? Nope. Okay. Um, and uh, I'm going to take his phone and chuck it out the window in Torresville. Okay. And okay. then head back. Okay. I'm pretty paranoid about phones now. Thanks, Zero. <laughs> <laughs> If anyone has any reason to be paranoid about phones, it should be zero. <laughs> All right, you can make it back to Jotunheim, no problem. All right, uh, I'm gonna get back, pull the Americar up, and uh, call some of the uh, the lieutenants out to help carry him up to the dock. Okay. It and takes, then uh, it takes maybe four of them to carry him up. And then uh, have those same guys go down and get the manager as well and bring him up to the dock also. Okay, so they go get the manager out of the VIP lounge and bring him up. Are you still wearing the manager's face when they bring him up there? Sure. Okay. Uh, so he sees himself first and kind of, uh, and it's... then sees Crusher as just, <sighs> all right, what, what's this going to cost me? cost you it's not gonna cost yeah. you anything i'm you how would it cost you mean cost us whatever oh is new, that yen, new yen will smooth this over is what i'm assuming yes how, how much new yen you got on you i have enough okay we'll, we'll make with the new yen and, and maybe we won't kill you after this that's not usually how this goes new yen now right here uh, how do I have any guarantee that you won't just kill us as soon as I give you the money? You don't, but it'll go a whole long way to uh, to making me feel like maybe I can come back and get more new yen from you later. I don't have infinite funds there, chum. How about you think about how much new yen the two of us are worth, and then you tell me, and then uh, we can come to some kind of agreement. Well... You're not going anywhere for a while, so... I need him and me to be gone by this evening. Oh, that's not going to happen. Uh, how much is it going to cost to make it happen? I, I don't think you could put a number on that. Some, let's just put it to you like this. Uh, uh, I don't want you going anywhere for a while. And... Uh, with that, I'm going to shoot him in the neck with my narco jet. <laughs> and then you just watch him crumple to the ground. All right. Gentlemen, get these these two dreck heads up in a bed here. Uh, Doc, I need you to keep these guys out for like three days. Yeah, sure. Coma as it is. No problem. Appreciate that. Preferably with no like lasting brain damage or anything. <laughs> yeah, sure. <laughs> Like, that's a thing. I mean, it's, it's optional, but preferred. Uh-huh. Yeah. Okay. W whatever you said. Thanks. Thanks, Chum. They'll mostly be in the same when they went under. Oh, uh, also, uh, I'm not sure if you're a big uh, uh, big Urban Brawl fan, but, uh, you know, if you wanted to maybe drop a couple of bucks, you know, over on the motorheads, just saying wink, wink, nudge, nudge, you know. Uh, 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 I don't gamble. Okay. Well, this isn't gambling. I'm just saying, if you want to, you know, some free new yen. No, you you usually give me free new yen, and I just have to okay. make sure you stop pouring blood out of you. Fair enough. Fair enough. You're, you're a man okay. of your trade. I can respect that. Okay. Uh, yeah, you just keep these guys out, and uh, we'll have them out of your hair in a couple of days. Whatever. Okay. And then I'll walk away and change my face and go change my clothes. <laughs> All right, uh, Kaze and Zero, uh, in the amount of time that Loki is gone, which would be uh, about maybe three or four hours tops, what what are you two up to? <laughs> um, I'm tunnel visioned on trying to get one of the three things I mentioned to you done. Um, if things. I can get the compact thing or roll for it. So you can start to get the components apart. Uh, it will fit. Uh, it will now be able to be disassembled and like put in a duffel bag. But to get it to 
finally fit into like a small briefcase or something, you'll have to work on it a little more. But at least you are starting to get it to be modular. That's that is a good start. I will just put it back together, okay, um, and then just put it on my back. And uh, ha is the um, helicopter no, it's, gone? It's de it, it was on you only heard it for maybe ten to fifteen minutes, and then you heard it getting further and further away. Oh, okay, because okay. I was it just, was, I was just really loud and really close a while ago, and then it just went away. Okay. Um, I'm, I'm, I text Loki, like, so uh, what's the situation? It's not as loud now. And uh, when he texts me, I'm going to knock on his door. <laughs> uh, Loki? Yes? I open it. I'm like, I just texted you. I know. That's why I'm here. You are, are you omnipotent? Yes. It begins. Okay. Big concern rising. Anyway, um, what's happening? Uh, let's uh, let's get Kaze over here and uh, we can have a little chit chat. Oh, yeah. little powwow, meeting of the minds, so to speak. Yeah. Where is he anyway? Uh, so after I finished packing up the rest of the stuff that I was taking from Nova Hut, I mm -hmm. take it and drop it off and uh, at the apartment. And that only takes probably about like 10, 15 minutes. I've actually spent the last like 45 minutes standing in an aisle at a grocery store trying to figure out which juice boxes I'm going to pick so I can bring them to the meeting right now. Because I don't know if people prefer cran apple or orange. And it's really hard to pick between those two. So after a solid deliberation, I just decide to get both of them. Uh, and then uh, I will head over to Jotunheim uh, to go to the meeting. Okay. I feel like uh, juice boxes need to be a running joke now. <laughs> they almost are. Uh, so Kaze will arrive back at Jotunheim. You guys can meet up in your, uh, like, the sleeping area quarters that uh, have been set up for you. Uh, Kaze has brought juice boxes. <gasps> Ooh. I mean... Then, as, as I walk in, I just kind of look around and go, I, I think I may have overestimated how many boxes we need. Where is everybody? Oh, there's like a hundred people downstairs. What do you mean, Chum? You know what I mean. I'm not trying to feed your cult, Loki. I'm, I'm, I'm here for the group. It's a collective of like-minded individuals who prefer freedom over wage slavery. Mm -hmm. I know that's mm -hmm. a mouthful. We need right. like an acronym, I think. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think you need an acronym yeah. for that. Mm -hmm. let, let me, let me think on that. I'll, I'll come up with a, a good acronym and I'll get back to you. So what, did, what kind of juice did you get, by the way? Uh, I brought uh, cran apple and orange. So help, your, help yourself, Zero. I will take. Buddy. I will take one of both, and then I straw Got straw. <laughs> I try I had to drink both at the same time. I'm like, that was oh, not the, a good idea. That was not the move. Oh, the walrus technique. That's more of an advanced maneuver, but you know, hey, it's not to everybody's block. liking. Nope, that was a, not a good choice. <laughs> I just tentatively sip one and then wait, and then tentatively sip the other one for the rest of the meeting. If only he could have found the. The rebranded ecto cooler. <laughs> oh man! Wow. Okay. The throwback. I remember right when there. I was eight. <laughs> Jeez. All right, so uh, gentlemen, uh, I've got you here because you're the only members of the team currently not out doing something, um, and uh, we we probably ought to like discuss what's going on and uh, where we're at with this whole thing. Um, there's a lot of stuff that's been going on here lately and not all of it great. And uh, I wanted to get your input on uh, some of these these events that are going on and how you feel about how things are going and kind of decide how we're going to move forward from here. Um, first, let me bring you up to speed really quickly with uh, this whole last job that we were doing for Mr. Nemo. Uh, we, after some trials and tribulations, have achieved success so we are not on anybody's bad list uh and uh we certainly won't have any powerful people from that particular end uh coming and looking for any of us because uh, that's what happens when these jobs go sideways um 
this one almost went sideways, but we managed to do it. We figured it out. And uh, Crusher is sound asleep upstairs. Uh-huh. So so okay. the people who tried to shoot us when we left the gym, like, no repercussions, huh? I don't know who any of those people were. It could have been anybody, really. Okay. I mean, out, out of character, do we know who that was? Uh, Zero kind of does. He has inklings of who it might have been, but... uh. No, you have no concrete okay. evidence of who it was. If, if we can find out who it was, I, I certainly don't like being shot at, and I am happy to 100% uh, deal with that situation. Um, I'm right there behind you if that's something that you feel like we should pursue, but I'm not sure who that was, and I don't really have any leads, and I've been rather busy uh, trying to keep everybody, yeah, you know. We, we need to talk about you being in a position of power while in bibing on the job friend hey whoa 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 all right what i do in my own time is I, my business I, I i walk up behind loki and i, I put my hand on his shoulder oh, and i hand geez. him a juice box and oh. i just go this is a this is the we're, we're here to help you this is for you buddy uh we sit we be in me and, and set it down. me and me and Zero sit down across from him. I'm like, if you'd like to come in from the hall, the doctor comes into the room with us in order to, to come sit down as well. Loki, you know, we're just, we're concerned as your friends mm. because we appreciate you. We like you. And, you know, this is a group collective. You've got a lot going on here with Jotunheim. We understand that. You've got a lot going on on your plate. None of us are trying to tell you how to run your job. But, you know, we think that you're going about it with a little I think bit you of were being assistance. a dreckhead to flounder and you shouldn't have been talking to him like that. Zero, zero, oh. calm down, calm down, calm down. Aggression um, is not going to help. Okay, well, uh, honestly, maybe that's fair. Maybe that's a bit of a fair take. And do you think that maybe the reason, part of the reason why that could have been the case is that somebody was riding a little bit too high on the nose candy that day? Maybe imbibing a little bit on their own supply a little too much? when they should have been being a caring and compassionate member of this group that we have here. So what we're saying is that what you do on your own time, we're not trying to tell you how to live your life. You're a grown elf, I believe. And so with that, you know, when we're on the clock, maybe just take a juice box, you know? That's all we're trying to say. Uh, Doc, do you have anything that you'd like to add in? I just work here. I, I don't know. We talked about this. We talked about this. You need to be more supportive. Remember, he has don't, a problem. You're a medical professional and you're supposed to tell him that it's bad for him. Don't do drugs and operate heavy machinery. Exactly. Don't. Winners don't do well drugs. Said. You heard yeah. what the doctor said. Oh, all right. He, here's my thoughts on the situation is perhaps I was a bit harsh. Was it due to my enjoyment of substances? Possibly. We essentially had a rogue piece on the board that nearly cost us this job and potentially could have cost us all of our lives. If this job would have gone sideways, the repercussions and the things that we would have had to deal with could have been potentially fatal for one or possibly all of us. And if there's anything that you have a legitimate reason to be upset about, well, I, I think that's a pretty good one. That said, I admit, I probably could have handled it a little bit better. And I do sort of feel a little bit bad about that. I'm hoping that Flounder will kind of come around and we could have an adult discussion about this. And I promise that I will be sober for that discussion. Fair. Fair. I, I'm, I, I'm standing up again. I, I, I just kind of just I just kind of like sit back. I'm like, honestly, I think that that's the best that we're gonna get out of this. So yeah, 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 sure, yeah, yeah. I also, give a round of applause. Round of applause thank you, uh, Doc. I appreciate you being here. Make sure you grab a juice box on the way back. Stay hydrated. Yeah. Okay. He grabs an orange juice box and then leaves. Hmm, orange. Interesting. Not what I, I would have thought. I have patience to attend to. Didn't strike me as an orange guy, but, you know, fair. 
Okay, so uh, next update. Um, you may have heard Zero. I'm sure you heard the uh, the unwanted guests that we had briefly for a period of about 10 oh. to 15 minutes. Yes, that. So we didn't install a helipad? No, we did not. Uh, oh. hmm. That would be very convenient. That's but cool. That's also sounds very expensive. And I think, I don't know, getting power out here probably is is a more important use of our time and funds um the good news is that uh that the b team is uh currently leading them away from here and have strict orders to not come back here with them until everything's clear or in that car or anything like that um the bad news is is that uh there's a helicopter after some of our new friends also a major um hopefully they're gonna be okay i i don't know but they did that to themselves kind of mm-hmm. kind of i think i think one of the protocols that we need to, to do is if we have anybody that uh that is going to be a guest of our vip suite uh we need to make sure they don't have any phones or you know tracking devices or signal equipment or anything like that can you do that zero is that like that sounds like something that might be in your wheelhouse uh, I can figure something out, but I do think that it is really conducive to a relaxing environment in the VIP lounge to remove any sort of screens, any sort mm, of devices, mm. you know, really um, yes. um, sync from the network, as it were. That's right, that's would it, right. Would it be possible that we could put up some type of, like, small localized EMP field surrounding the the VIP lounge? So if there is anything like that, when we put somebody in there, it wouldn't necessarily be something that we'd have to worry about? So there's there's two things that you could add on to the VIP lounge to make it more secure. signal secure. Mm-hmm. There are signal spoofers and signal jammers that you could attach to the uh, the VIP lounge. There's also white noise generators as well. Mm. Now all oh, these things I have a are jammer. all of these things are pretty easy to come by. Uh, it's just you kind of need power. Yeah. Everything at this point seems to come back to we kind of need power. Yeah. So. You kind of need a steady supply of power and you're out here in the barrens where that doesn't really happen. Right. Okay. So in regards to the power situation, I guess that the first thing that we would have to establish is where do we want the power to come from? Are you talking about splicing into the power line and pirating power in some way? Or are we wanting to go for like a generator supported system where we can have our own power? So if something were to happen to the main grid system, we wouldn't necessarily have to worry about it. Because if we're gonna go that route, we're talking industrial generator size equipment that we're gonna need to find, house, and be able to uh, fuel and supply. I actually have some thoughts on this, and I'm glad you've been contemplating this issue as well, Kaze. Um, mm-hmm. We we do have the uh, the ability to kind of get a little bit of trickle power, uh, mm-hmm. potentially from from a nearby source. Uh, however, uh, splicing into that is really the the main issue. I do have some people working on that right now, but I'm probably going to have to find some kind of professional in order to complete that task. Um, the other option that we we had is uh, there's lots of sun here and solar panels are a thing. Uh, I think we mm. can maybe set some of those up in a strategic location, uh, mm-hmm. you know, create some mm-hmm. battery banks and mm-hmm. maybe work things like that. Uh, that way we have, you know, solar growing during the day and then battery power at night. Uh, we'll have to ration the consumption, right. obviously, you know, uh, things like the, the doctor's clinic is going to be the number one priority. And, right. you know, things like that. But uh, I, I do think that, that that would be an option. It is, however, going to be a little bit expensive. And it's one of the reasons why I recommended we take this higher level job because this place costs New Yen, Jammers. It's a, it's a very safe place, as you can see. I mean, obviously, if we're able to hide from corp security in here, uh, it's working as intended. So, right. Uh, you know, they, it, this place does have its benefits, and I'm I'm glad to see that uh that my my plan has been bearing fruit here. Um, it's just a matter of coming up with the new yen in order to make that happen. So uh, that's well, on my know, list. Do we know how much new yen we're getting for keeping 
homeboy away from the fight from the fight tomorrow night or uh we we all got a thousand up front and we're each getting an additional thousand after that the problem is is that we have to pay three of that out to the other team Mm -hmm. because we had that the original plan fell through after flounder you know kind of went off station and did his own Mm -hmm. thing uh otherwise that we we already have the new yen chummer um Mm -hmm. so uh, no one of the other things in terms of the renewable energy have we considered giant hamster wheels no we have not but that is something to look into because okay. uh, I'm just we we've got a lot of able-bodied people in the community mm, here. I'm mm. sure that if we had you know some type of schedule system for who has the hamster wheel on what days, that could also help. And and it might go a long way in creating some sort of physical fitness regimen for mm-hmm. the the citizens mm-hmm. here. Like mm-hmm. I can I can see this having a dual benefit. I'll consider it. And mm. let me let me roll the idea around a little bit and, and get back to you on that one. Um, the only thing more terrifying than an army of very follow, uh, heavily followed and influential cult-like followers is an army of jacked cult-like mm, followers. Mm, so, mm, I, mm. you know, I think something to look into might not necessarily be a bad thing. Fantastic. Fantastic. Mm-hmm. Yes. It's... Uh, okay. So next question. Mm. I do like the renewable energy source. I think that that's going to be a, a, probably the safest way to go about this as well as not having to be dependent on, you know, being a part of the main power grid like we previously discussed, should anything actually go wrong on that end. With that being the case, have you looked into how much the equipment and setup is going to cost for this to get us up and running uh, if we wanted to go for like a solar route? I honestly haven't had time. I've been putting fires out left and right over here, trying to make sure that we all keep our heads, if you know what I mean. (laughs) <laughs> mm-hmm. Uh, mm-hmm. yeah so uh i haven't actually had time to uh, to look into that but that's pretty much the next order of business around here um kind of trying to improve the infrastructure a little bit and, i mean as you can see some improvements have been being made you know we, we are mm-hmm. slowly but surely getting there you know but that's the next real big step and you know believe me it's on my list mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. okay um would it be possible that we could reach out to uh i feel bad because i can't remember the the character's name uh our our hacker friend apple jacks apple jacks is it possible that we could reach out to apple jacks and see if they might be able to find some of the equipment that we need it may be not necessarily retail price if you know what i mean oh i understand i understand uh yes uh we we potentially could do that um one thing i will have to tell you about apple jacks uh, mm-hmm. he, he's a professional and professionals mm-hmm. cost money and mm-hmm. uh, he's he, also my professional best friend, but he, go on. That's true. That's true. Maybe mm-hmm. you could talk to him next time. Probably not. Um, but I will. Tell I wouldn't you, mind. I'm, I have no I, problem with I, that. I, well, I, I think know that's that. a great idea. We yeah. should we should move on that. You, you, you could go talk to him right now. I wouldn't recommend it. Um, basically, like I, I had to come out of my own pocket in order to pay him back for all the jobs that he was doing with us. He wasn't very happy that he did all that. He, I think he did three or four different things for us and like hadn't been paid yet. So. I came out of my own pocket to make sure that we kept that relationship solid and wasn't cheap either. Mm-hmm. Uh, so mm-hmm. every time we want to use him, just understand that it's it's going to cost it's going to cost that new yen, Chummer. Uh, right? No, I understand. That. I I get that for sure. Um, so we can mm-hmm. reach out, but I'm I'm tapped at the moment. I, you know, after we pay the other three, assuming that they survive. Wait a minute. Assuming they survive. Yeah, that could I realistically that could be another three thousand new yen just in the communal yeah, bank is all I'm saying. It could know. be. What it's, are we talking about here? Well, nothing. Uh, we're well, talking about making sure that we've got everything taken yeah. care of for Jotunheim. That's what we're talking about first okay. and foremost. Yeah. All right. Hey, so, I, don't, I don't want to hear from you either, Mister. Was that supposed to mean? I'm willing to take a bit of a pay cut for this job so we can be all copacetic. Hey, I'm, I'm just saying, you shot a guy right next to me. I, my right ear is still kind of ringing a little bit. Mm. You did execute that a man fair. right next to me. I didn't give you any grief about that. To be fair, that. if we had given him any more time to speak, he probably would have had me kill you. Mm. Oh, so he... That's he, it. He, That's the end of the argument. Yeah. But, but, but does that justify Loki's, you know, future tinnitus that he has now? This is super tinnitus, if you will. I'd rather him lose part of one ear than all of his head. 
Mm. I'm just saying, I would know your command. I mean, what? What, um, what? what was that? No, nothing. Nothing. You are being so. I didn't weird. say anything. I didn't say anything you are at being all. So weird. Uh, but yeah, if you know something were to happen to them, it wouldn't, wouldn't necessarily be the most terrible thing. I mean, I like those guys. They seem okay. Uh, they're not the greatest at this gig, but you know, I mean, you know, even a blunt instrument is useful every now and again, and. You know, they, they did a good job getting the manager back here. They didn't get Crusher, though. I had to go do that myself. Oh, so, good job. So maybe maybe we need to talk to them about... You know, I think it's a collaborative effort. Yeah, I think I think maybe the, uh, the, the price needs to come down. Since uh, I had to go get him myself. They did call in serious corp heat here, too. We're lucky that we're not still dealing that's with that. That's not here, though. If not, we're, fortunately, yeah, fortunately. Right. It, it could have gone very differently. Uh so yeah, maybe maybe there's room for negotiation there on the back end. I, <sighs> Guys, I feel like we're getting lost in the force of uh, the trees yeah, here. At right. this point, I think what we need to do is we figured out what we need to do for for Jotunheim for the future. Mm, mm. I think looking into that's going to be good. What we need to do now, though, is we need to figure out where we're going to get the equipment from. Because oh. as far as I could tell, it seems like we've got everything handled for this gig. We just got to hold him for, what, another 24 hours? So he misses the game. For three days. Let him, same, three days. Same thing. 24 hours, three days. Time is a construct. And then after that, we can go ahead and just let him out. We get paid for the job. And then while we wait for the next thing to come in, start trying to work on our infrastructure. Yeah. Well, uh, Zero, you had, you had something to add. Zero, yeah, I see you so, had your hand um, up. Yes, Zero, I'd like right, to call yeah, on you. Okay. Uh, yes, thank you. Um, I have less than a month to possibly assassinate Live? a politician oh. and there may or may not be a, have been an update that may or may not include me committing uh patricide so okay. mm. i was mm. just hope i was just wondering if we could shuffle our priorities a bit you know yeah that's that is right on the list right after the infrastructure situation is that okay. i i mm. that yeah, that makes sense. No, absolutely. What What do you need from us? How can we help you? Don't Don't think I forgot about you, Zero. Like, uh, this, okay, great. this has been another thing that's been bothering me uh, for a while now, and I would really like to take uh, that box off of our thing so that we can worry yeah. a little bit less about what you have going yeah. on with your, yeah. you know, your thing with the phones and the ears and the mm -hmm. whole, you know, oh, this thing. Yeah, you know, uh, not great. Yeah, no, not great. Yeah. But we do maybe have a lead on that i did get some information from my contact who i still need to talk to um get some forward momentum on that mm -hmm, mm -hmm. so i could leave you gentlemen to it to figure out the logistics uh, i gotta figure out if i gotta kill some people within a certain amount of time well when when you know what we need to do uh i, I personally have no problem helping you out uh you've been there for me and I see no reason that I shouldn't return that favor. I don't know how much good I'm going to be. I mean, you you know my skill set. It's not exactly, uh, well, uh, you're... It's versatile. <laughs> well, I'm not, I'm not you, and uh, you know, I'm not exactly good with the things that you guys do. I mean, I've seen you guys in action. Boy, impressive. Got to tell you. Uh, I make a difference with a bullet. You make a difference with your words. Mm. And sometimes that's enough. Sometimes. No, sometimes. 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 Better be careful. They can cut like a knife. Depends on the scenario. But right, 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 right. Anyway, yeah. metaphors aside, I'm going to step out. Um, <laughs> you guys need me? You guys know where to find me? Sound, sounds real good. How, how have you been, by the way? I haven't seen too much of you lately. Everything everything good with you? Oh, it's been fine. You know, I've just uh, been working on some projects uh, out of the home office. You know, hmm, um, hmm. Uh, speaking of which, uh, maybe don't go to Nova Hot for a while. Uh, oh, Sue's had to go out of town. So uh, the actual shop itself is kind of shut down right now. Um, so, you know, if anything of that need or variety comes up, just come to me. Just, you know, actually, talk to I, me directly I, about it. I did have some thoughts. Of, okay. How about this? I think mm. I think one of the things that we could do, and this is this is really in your wheelhouse here, uh, in order to make some of these jobs a little bit easier, is if we had a selection of uh, uniforms for mm. various professions, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. almost like like mm. disguise kits, kind mm. of. And and mm -hmm. we know that you make the best quality goods, so these don't, would be well. No, <laughs> you know, you stop well, it you know. right now. 
No, so, I know I mean, what you're are, doing. I know are, what you're are we, doing are, here. Are, are we talking are <laughs> exactly we talking, what you're doing? Are we here. talking uniform tracksuits with matching Adidas on the bottoms? You know, uh, are we talking we're, everybody we're now, or we're now ceremonial away. robes? We're, or... we're going we're going away from this conversation now because I see what you did there. You hmm. We're going to go back to Zero now, who has left to go speak to his injured friend that is still up in the hospital. You guys. Ah. So, Zero being able to talk to Midnight up yes. in uh, up in the uh, hospital wing. <laughs> Take it away. Ah. Alrighty. So, I go ahead and walk in check to see how he's doing uh he's still hooked up to a, an iv uh he has bandages over his chest he still looks like he is doing uh good though okay uh, heart monitor is is going well so okay i um is it like is it just like a big infirmary with a bunch of yeah individual they things? just like have it's like not no privacy it, well they just have like the rolling privacy screens in okay gotcha them. Um, is there anyone else in there? Uh, yeah, there are two other people. Uh, they look like they're strapped down to the beds. They're on some kind of drip. Um, their eyes are closed. Mm, cool. They're just kind of off away from everybody else. Uh-huh. Okay, great. <laughs> they're they're okay, like at cool. the back of the infirmary. <laughs> gotcha. So I just take a chair and I just drag it over to mm -hmm. his bed. And I, you know, flex it backwards and sit on it like this. <laughs> Except it's probably like this, so I'm just like, <laughs> I'm just gonna uh, turn it around. Okay. So, uh, Midnight. How you doing, buddy? Uh, well, uh, <coughs> when you take a shot to the gut, y you know, it takes you a couple days. Yeah, yeah, I figure. So, I should have figured by your name that you may or may not i was i just thought it was a coincidence that you happen to have the same call sign as a friend of mine um just want to check real quick uh -huh. and then and then i just go um are you fragging with me right now in uh in russian i just say it just, just briefly i don't i don't all right know cool. just want to check saying. just want to check um, okay so, uh, how long have you known Midnight? Midnight? <laughs> uh, the first, you mean the original Midnight? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I guess so. I guess so. Uh, I mean, she she came in and, and taught our special tactics team. Uh, she was one of our instructors that we had for a while. And, you know, you know how it goes. Special tactics Sometimes. team. Yeah. For Lone Star. Hmm. Is that right? Yeah. You kn you know anything about her? Where she's from? What she's done? No. Who she works for? I t I don't know her back history, man. Hmm. Okay. I I remember her. She was my instructor. We we hit it off. We would, we would go out to the bar sometimes. Hmm. Then she I don't just... need to know what you do unprofessionally. I'm, I'm... <laughs> then, you that's know... cool. That's between you and the Lord. Um. <laughs> At but, one point, and, you know, she just Okay, took cool. Off. All right, great. La, la, la. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> Pump the brakes. Okay. Okay. So, I've known Midnight Prime for <laughs> uh, about my entire life. Um, okay. We're from Russia, you see. Well, that's weird. And she I, didn't I have a Russian. I'm like, she doesn't have a Russian accent. She's very good at that. I, I don't think I have one either, but hey, you know, we adapt differently. That being said, um, hmm, you didn't undergo any like, I don't know, audio based training. You mean for like surveillance? Um, and I, I play, I, I want to, can I recall the, the activation phrase that set me off? Yeah, you can. Okay. And I just repeat it. Was that supposed to mean something? Hmm. Okay. Cool. Wouldn't that make like Test. some kind of like feedback loop where you like 
<laughs> uh, constantly like like brain fried now or something i say know? it and then i hear it and then i forget <laughs> yeah yeah, yeah. It, uh it, it, you can't do it Z to yourself zero says the phrase that blacks out and wakes up and new midnight's dead <laughs> oh no geez oh, that'd no. be terrible and i'm like they did it again those monsters <laughs> never the knowing. invisible assassins they got them where'd they come uh, from where did they i just black out from? and then people die oh no uh, okay so can can, yeah. can can, can I make a proposition that we have Zero's ultimate nemesis be an assassin whose code name is Cotton Eye Joe? <laughs> so that way we can just go, where did he come from? Where, where did, did he go? go? Uh, okay. I'll take it under advisement. So, <laughs> when was the last time you saw Midnight? Uh, it's been eight years. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh... Well, I appreciate that you got information from me. It seems like it put you in a pretty compromised position. Um, we're yeah. going to try and take care of you while you're here. I appreciate the patch up. Um, whenever I can get back on my feet again, I definitely like to get out of here. Yeah. Yeah. That... yeah it's weird you know... that you got your own infirmary out here in the middle of nowhere. It's really better you don't think about it too much. I'm all. really trying not to. Good answer. Okay, great. <laughs> oh. So, um, how much of that, the documents did you read that you got from me? Not very much. I was just grabbing what I could as much as I could. And uh, you don't know who attacked you? No, I didn't see him. Did you hear it? Did anything? It was a slight whistle, and then I'm bleeding. Hmm, I see. It's a lot more subtle than a drive-by, I'll tell you that much. So... Yeah, I would have definitely remembered a car screeching by. Hmm. Okay. Well, um, if it's going to help you know it all, I may or may not. I may, I may or may not be... I may or may not be being pursued by international assassins. Uh, and... Are you pulling my leg here? You. Yeah. International assassins. You notice how I uh, speak Russian? So you could put a chip in your head and do that, right? You ever heard of any sort of like I don't know, Academy, maybe it was a myth or something. No, I mean... Never heard of the Dragonovich Academy? I've never heard of Dragonovich. Well, that's because we don't Mid want you to know that. Midnight would mention huh? some place sometimes after yeah. too much sauce, but... uh. Yeah, it's where we went to school. Kind of learned how to do some... uh really shady business so i i'm I, you don't need to know all the details um but it's probably very better likely. that i don't yeah it's probably better you know. um yeah. you may or may not oof, my bedside manner is terrible you may or may not be a program sleeper agent um what yeah yeah it's a whole thing Thing. A, I don't even what? know. Whoa, whoa. A you what? Re remember when we met and I told you, like, there were people after me and then, uh -huh. like, everyone I knew was dead? Apparently, one, mm, a fair amount of my unit are, are not dead or they, they weren't buried. Um, okay. Two, they may or may not have been, no, they've definitely been reprogrammed to be uh, killers. Um, three, I may be one of them. Um, whoa. <laughs> What? Yeah, you dropped a lot. a lot of information. Yeah, it's on a me. lot. Ah, um, uh, you might be a killer. No, I'm definitely a killer, but um, it's more of a it's more of a like uh, inadvertent. Anyway, this is all to say that you are in a dangerous situation, and if we have to keep you here for safety, I would recommend it. Um, Kind of trying I think to figure with this the out. more that you're telling me, the more I need to not go back to work and maybe disappear for a while. That 
See, I knew you were smart. I knew you were smart. Because at this point, you know <laughs> things that not a lot of people here know. I'm not sure what I even know compared to what uh, you're trying to tell me. That's fine. That's fine. Yeah. It, off the grid's the best way to go. Okay. Look, I got you that information. If yeah. I have to disappear, I will. Uh, I'll keep in touch as best I can. But yeah, send a postcard. Uh, It'd be uh, more limited capacity. I wouldn't be able to get you as much information. It's fine. I'll miss our long chats on the phone, but you'll be all right. I'm sure I'm going to go figure out how to travel overseas and kill my dad and uh, possibly kill a politician. You know what? I'll talk I, to you later. You know, I don't need to know I, any of this. I'm going to go Marco back Temple to sleep. On me later, and, just, and I'm like, yeah. well, anyway, I'll get you a value pack. Okay, bye. <sighs> and I am going to just... Um, go and try and assess the documents further and sure. see like what uh, my next steps are as you are trying to um well don't say trying to well as you're assessing <laughs> the documents oh, okay. uh your your phone will go off with a text message oh okay great <laughs> oh yeah this is nice. fantastic um the uh, text message is coming from unknown and it's some kind of file that's been sent to you it just says uh, package update file. Sick. Um, okay. I turn my volume all the way down on my phone <laughs> and then I open it. Okay. Uh, there's no sound. <laughs> so nothing tries I, to I play. wouldn't know that because the, uh, the volume's all the way mm. down. That's fair. Mm. Mm. Um, <laughs> it, looks, <laughs> it looks like the more information about um, that assassination mission that you were contracted for. There's some Sweet. update. There's some updates. Now, is this the one from midnight, or is this the one that we got, like, or that I got secretly? This is the one that you got secretly. Ah, like this okay. isn't connected to midnight's information. This is just some random person that mm. you've never met is sending you extra pack extra package information. Did Legit. Okay, cool. And what is what does the information entail? Um, it's just more updates about the uh, the possible target. Um, there a little bit about that you need to exercise extra caution because they may be traveling with a bodyguard. Uh, the uh, spe a special issue. Um, bullet is being constructed and will be waiting for you at the designated uh, site for you to pick up before the assassination. Your target will not die unless you use this. Sick. Sick. Is that the, is that all of it? That's yeah, that's pretty much okay, all the great. information that they're cool. giving you. I'm going to like just start power walking to where I think, uh, <laughs> Zero or Akaze and Loki are. Yeah, they haven't really left the meeting room. <laughs> They're still there. <laughs> hey guys, so update. Uh, okay, so uh, got an update uh, for the person I'm supposed to assassinate. Funny how that works. Um, apparently, they're gonna have bodyguards, and I have to pick up a special bullet that if I don't shoot this bullet into the target, they will not die. What? Oh, right. Uh, let me start from the beginning. So I got a message on my phone that updated me on the assassination operation right. in which I am partaking okay. in. So right, get get to the the will not die part again. Oh, yeah, that's all I know. You, you huh? You you know as much as I do. Apparently, I have to shoot them with this specific bullet that I have to pick up at a designated location or they won't die. Who can do that? I don't have any idea. Uh, apparently, mid apparently mid our midnight uh, doesn't know anything about our, our anything. midnight. Wait, is there another midnight? Um, you know, that's a, a whole other story. We can get into it later. It's not it might not be related. Um, you know, I can even tell you on the way there. Uh, whenever I, we figure out, I, I don't want to be that guy. Yeah, is your target a dragon? 
Did it say what the name of the person is? Uh, no, it just said a dignitary from the uh, from the tier. And it didn't give me a name. Didn't give you a name. You just have a picture. It just yeah, yeah there's a picture. It, they okay. look like an elf. An, looks like an elf. Okay. Yeah, great. looks like an elf. Wee woo, wee woo. <laughs> okay, cool. Um, it's a dignit. Okay, do we know anybody who's a dignitary from the tier who? is an elf of substantial importance and or power i have no political knowledge so i'm not even going to try to make a rule to see if i would know that i'm just <laughs> going to put that out there right now i'm a kid from the barons chummer i that's not really my wheelhouse do, do we have a research department can you can you get some people to look into that no does it look like we have a library here I, I just think you're you're full of limitless potential, Loki. So oh, like, no, I'm that's asking no, that's true. I think it's fair. That's yeah, exactly. So is it possible you could have some of your acolytes, uh, your worshippers, you know, go to a, uh, a net cafe or something? Well, the problem is, Chummer, is that uh, yeah. here in the Barrens, uh, not many of us have uh, this thing you call a sin. Oh no, we can take a field trip, or they can take a. Field Right, that still doesn't solve the whole sin problem. Oh. Because we don't really do that out here. Uh, I was born without one. You know, I've never had one of those because I'm not a slave to the corporations. And it used to be one. <laughs> okay. uh, you know. Cool. Uh, so, some, some other people have, like, discarded theirs and are now here. Uh, it's not really... That kind of stuff isn't really something we have the ability to do now i mean if you want ears on the streets that's a different story <sighs> can't um, go to a public library can put ears on the streets though um i mean i hear things all the time i hate to keep relying on the guy but his work ethic is just so impeccable what do we got to do to have apple jacks look into this uh pay him uh, but like is it within our budget uh well i mean what's our our budget. Uh, what's our budget here? Uh, is this within this is a, your this is budget, a, guys? Zero. This is a company thing, right? Like, right. How much are you getting? Expense? How much are you getting paid for this? And how much of that is coming back to the company, other than if what you're keeping as your cut? Any for this? new yen? It's it's all of everybody's. I don't mm. really. Money is not mm. something I'm how, super concerned. How with. Okay, so it sounds like here. we're dealing with uh, hypothetical <laughs> the people's income new yen. here. <laughs> It, uh, it feels like we're dealing with some hypothetical income. And, uh, you know, infrastructure doesn't pay for itself is all I'm saying. You know, we just had this you? whole discussion I, about the I solar thought panels we, I thought we had, like, established that if I don't do this thing, I'm going to, I might die. I, well, we're going to help you. Don't don't get it twisted. You know, but uh, just finding out who this guy is. is we're, I mean, we're, we're just asking you what we assumed would have been the basic information that you would have to come to us with. with, with I don't really for have a lot of negotiating power in these situations. Uh-huh. Well, That's whole, it. Yeah, this whole thing okay. is like just okay. very That's... cloak and dagger here, and uh, it's yeah, not something think... I'm accustomed to dealing with, you know? I... No. It started to sound like we need to have Loki be the one who takes your jobs for you instead of... That, you know, you know if you can talk to whoever's giving me these jobs, by all means. I don't mm. know if they're people you'd want to be associated with, but... Uh, probably not, no. Probably mm -hmm. not. Hey, I have to get a specialized bullet to kill some sort of powerful being. So, um, listen, my point is uh -huh. that the sooner we can check this box yes. off the list, right? Uh -huh. The sooner we can get back into making money okay. and I like working this. on our I infrastructure. Like so, if, if you want to go to Applejacks to get information about the target, I will go with you because I also need to speak to Applejacks and see if we can find some leads regarding the potential uh, acquiring of said infrastructure. Okay, I have a better idea. Yes. Why don't we all get into the... Uh, the <laughs> what should we call this America, are you guys? The America... Uh... I don't know because it's something that. Oh, we'll, 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 we'll come. Back, we'll come back like, to that in a minute. Like, uh, like, okay, come up with a suitable name for our chariot. Mm -hmm. And I'd uh, say Fenrir because it's something you can't trust. Shot at me, Jesus. Oh, let's uh, let's let's all pile into this America. We can text Applejacks on the way, and let's go at least 
do some legwork and start taking a look at some of this stuff with your job. Because I know you're champing at the bit to get this thing done. I want to help you with it. And the best thing I can do is at least get boots on the ground and eyeballs on the route and figure out where this guy's coming from, where he's going to, and come up with a plan on how we're going to take him down. Awesome. Thank you. So we can start there and, you know, then we'll we'll figure everything out as we go. And we have so more. You have... You have the, the possible routes that he's going to be taking to his final destination in in Seattle. It's just the route that he's taking to get there initially is difficult because he's coming in on a boat, on a yacht that's oh. coming into Tacoma Harbor. And then from there, he'll be one of three different routes on his way to... Uh, the downtown hotel okay so if if that's the case if we know that he's coming from the harbor and he's ending up at the hotel it sounds to me like the best place to do this is going to be either as soon as he gets off the boat or is leaving the harbor or arriving at the hotel because those are both choke points and then we don't have to like split the team up into three different locations. We can get everybody concentrated on one one spot and amass all our firepower there. Do you guys want to go look at these places? We can, but just with those being the options available, I feel like the easier route is going to be the hotel. I, I am in agreement there. Um, but we can take a look and see if mm -hmm. maybe, uh, maybe something, you know, kind of piques our interest and, okay. uh, you know, once we have uh, once we have that whole thing kind of situated, then we can decide how we're going to uh, to move on that. Um, I certainly have some ideas. Uh, I think I mean it's gonna it's gonna cost again, but I think uh, there's potential for us to have Apple Jacks reroute traffic or something like that. Uh, you know, mm -hmm. mess with the uh, the infrastructure stoplights, that kind of thing, and uh, maybe force the convoy or vehicle or whatever this person's gonna be in into one area so that we can be ready and waiting. Um, that said, I think this is going to be a pretty rough job because uh, I'm assuming easy mode. I'm assuming that all this is like downtown. Uh, well, Tacoma is not downtown, but the location of the hotel is downtown. Okay. Yeah, but, but either way, it's going to be more security than we're used to. Um, mm -hmm. And that's one of the things that we ran into a problem with, with this last job with, uh, with Mr. Nemo and all that stuff. And, you know technically you've achieved what you were supposed to for mr nemo you could call him i'm planning on it yeah. okay it's gonna be a phone a car phone call okay um so uh you're going to tacoma first or you're gonna go look at the hotel what do you guys think i mean this is your job um, zero why don't you like take the lead on yeah that? i i want to see what the hotel looks like and what the surrounding area is i'm sure. i feel like i probably want to see where where possible vantage points could be. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so heading off to downtown. Yay! Right. So while we're in the car, I'll uh, I'll call Mr. Nemo. All right. Uh, rings, rings, rings. Phone picks up. Mr. Hello. Nemo. It's Mr. Loki. Ah, Mr. Loki. I assume you have good news for me. Indeed, indeed, I do. Uh, the target is safe and sound tucked away in a very safe location and ah. will not be will not be attending the event um, this is very very good news you have the target in your possession indeed oh well that's an added bonus isn't it uh what would you like uh done disposed of or catch and release how would you uh how would you like this uh, to occur i'll be sending a collection this asset that you have uh, certainly uh let me ask you this uh, bonus uh bonus points for uh the manager as well you have his manager too indeed well haven't you been busy a little bit <sighs> well i suppose i could take the manager as well this is 
outside the purview of the uh, original negotiation, so perhaps some um, extra compensation would be in order. You now you're talking my language, Chummer. Uh, give me uh, give me twelve hours. Very well. How about you just contact me again when you are ready to do the exchange? Fantastic. I will send you a message when we are available. Excellent. Good day, Mr. Loki. Good day. Thanks for the phone. Well, that went well. Uh, you guys will make it to the uh, the hotel. Apparently, it's uh, more in the historic district of downtown. So not a lot of Skyrise buildings that are here. Uh, a lot of the ones here are still uh, like the early 2000s in building construction. So, so it's historic downtown. Yeah, it's historic downtown. Antique. Yeah, yeah. Uh, in fact, the hotel that you're that you're retro. looking at is the yeah the hotel you're looking at is very retro. Uh, it was originally built back in the 1990s. Oh, wow. Okay. I heard that they still have CRT TVs. <laughs> oh, uh, supposedly, the security has been updated since then, but uh, the outside look and the nostalgic feel uh, is really what they try to go for for this old hotel. Um, it does have a nice like uh, courtyard around it and a, ca a few cafes. What's surrounding the area is mostly restaurants or like there are a few nightclubs. There's not a lot of other residential area. Uh, there's a couple more hotels that are more uh, up to this century <laughs> that are kind of close by, but it's still they still want to keep the outside look of being historic or retro. Okay, um, can I go into the hotel? Yeah, absolutely. Um, why don't you guys wait here, and uh, and uh, I'll be back. What what I was gonna recommend is, um, when you get into the hotel, try talking to the front desk clerk mm -hmm. under the guise of somebody who has an important person who would like to get a room in the hotel. Then that might give us some kind of inkling as to where the, they might end up sticking the dignitary when he gets here. So we can kind of plan a route around that. That way we don't just kind of have to wing it and figure out where he is once he's already here, you know? We're on the exact same page. And on that, I will morph yeah. my face into Archer Steel. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and head on inside. Indeed. All right. Uh, doesn't look like there's uh, anybody immediately there. There is a bell that's there for a ring for service. Uh, ringing the bell someone quickly comes out from uh, an adjacent door adjusts their tie yes how can i <sighs> mr Steele? uh <clears throat> i didn't i didn't know it was you uh what can i do for you i need some uh, some information on uh on your your place here uh, i've got a shoot coming up in about a month and uh you guys see what i did there are we doing uh <laughs> is it is it is it is it, uh, is it 009 part seven? You guessed it, buddy. Keep that on the wrap, though. <sighs> I'll, tell you, I'll tell you what, I'll get you uh, an autographed headshot when uh, when I come back. But here's the deal. <sighs> uh, we can't let this information get out. But mm. I, I need to know, are you able to accommodate uh, a guest such as myself, uh, someone, <laughs> you know, very important and... Uh, do you have a way that uh, that <laughs> Mr. Steele, please? You, well, you've been here a number of times. Of course, we can still accommodate you into uh, your room that uh, you prefer. Well, what I'm asking is, uh, is, is there a way for us to get in and out of the hotel discreetly? Uh, our hotel prides itself on discretion for our VIP uh, customers, so of course we can uh, help you with any kind of discretion that you may require during this course of your stay here think uh think of private uh private way to get in and out with a vehicle oh well that's difficult but we could use some of the unmarked cars that we usually have for our 
special people if you remember last time <laughs> can you uh can you show me these these cars oh no i i as much as i would love to i i I can't show them to you. We can arrange for it, though, if uh, you want to confirm your stay here. Well, I just want to make sure that uh, that they're going to be up to, you know, standards such as a person of my, my myself would be up to, you know. Uh, I, I quite, quite think that they'll be up to your standards, Mr. Steele. Are, are, are we doing this soon? Um, do we have a time window when uh, we I'm, need this? I'm going to need a reservation in about 30 days. Are you sure you can't show me the cars? As much as I would absolutely love to. I, I'm sorry I can't because uh, it's not just used for esteemed stars and uh, starlets such as, as yourself, but also uh, important dignitaries or any other VIP personnel that we may or may not have on the premises currently. I'm sure uh, a big star like yourself can understand the importance of discretion. I can absolutely understand that. I think that you really want to, and then I'm going to commanding voice and hit him with show me the cars. I think I really want to show you the cars. Of course you do. Uh, he'll take you back to an elevator. Uh, he steps inside with you. He takes out a key turns the key in the elevator you go down past the basement level uh, and it dings out onto an underground garage where you have you can see a small fleet of uh, kind of nondescript cars mostly painted in like a slate gray they have regular americars there's a few suvs I'll take a look at uh, some of the cars, but mostly what I'm looking at is uh, where, like, the, the garage entrance and exit is. So uh, it looks like they have to drive up onto a platform that raises them up to the the basement level of the garage, and then they drive out of the parking garage. Okay, so this is pretty tight security here. Okay. Yes. All right. I think these will these will suffice. My friend, uh, here, I have a little something for you. You've been very accommodating today. I look forward to my stay here in about a month. And I'll uh, slide him 100 new yen. Uh, he kind of, like, looks at where where you are and that you're still... Yes, yes, uh, come, come quickly. We, we shouldn't be here too long. And he ushers you back into the, uh, the elevator really quickly and <laughs> takes you back up to the ground floor. Uh, I'll make sure that... Uh, all your previous preferences are loaded in for your stay in 30 days, Mr. Steele. Thank you very much. I truly look forward to your accommodations once again. You've been a huge help today. We can't wait to be of service once again. I'll leave. Okay. Hop back in the car. All right, boys. Security's tight here. Um, <laughs> oh, wait. Hang on. Morph my face back. <laughs> it's oh. always disturbing when you watch him morph his face. Go ahead. I Go never ahead. get used to that. Oh, sorry about that. Yeah, it's just, there's a thing that I do. Um, mm -hmm. <laughs> so listen, uh, what I'm what I'm seeing here is that uh, they have a fleet of uh, unmarked luxury vehicles. I'm assuming several of them are probably up armored. And I think the best way to get this, this person is to get them out of the vehicle. Um, so I, I'm going to assume that the hotel is going to send a vehicle for this target. And that's what the, what the pickup's going to happen in. Um, I don't know how many they're going to send. And since we have multiple routes, that's going to be an issue. So we are going to have to definitely find a way to identify which vehicle, if there are multiples, the target is going to be in and then figure out a way to get him out of the vehicle. Unfortunately, here, uh, the way that the garage works is you drive in and then there's a lift that takes them down to the sub-basement. Then it's a private elevator to get into the hotel proper. Um, I couldn't get any information on on uh, what rooms this person might be in. I didn't want to press my luck. It seemed 
like a bad idea. Uh, but that's that's what I have. Uh, I'm not sure that just staging a shot somewhere is going to work here. We may have to consider doing that as they come off the boat or find a way to intercept the vehicle. Yeah, the only uh, other... if if we want sorry zero I didn't mean to no, cut you off. No, it's all good. If we wanted to go the route of trying to intercept a vehicle, we could always call the Valkyries. We could do that. There is try to get for that. Try to get them involved. That would probably be the easiest way. Sounds sounds very flashy and loud. Uh, could certainly even work as a good distraction if nothing else. Mm -hmm. You know, we could we we could use them as a primary distraction while we figure out where we want to go for the actual takedown, and then just make sure that we have zero set up with a clear shot for the area, and me and the Valkyries can cause the primary distraction to to you know whatever the motorcade situation would be for the person, try to give Zero the opening that he needs. Agreed. Agreed. Okay. What were you going to say, Zero? Um, I was just thinking a similar thing of something to have attention drawn away so they can get the shot. So we're on the same page. Okay. Okay. Well, um, boys, I guess we're going to assassinate a dignitary. I suppose do you want do you want to look at yeah, the harbor? We all jump and freeze frame together. Yeah, the, yeah. the high five in the car somehow. We're jumping. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, I mean, yeah, we could go check the harbor to try to see if there's anything there that you know maybe would make it easier. But let's see what's gonna happen. It's always good to have all bases covered, so I don't think that'd be a bad move. It, it can't hurt. You never know. We might see something that makes sense. So, mm. shall we? Yep. You know, Kaze, on, the, on route, I'm going to tell Kaze. Kaze, I have to say, this would be one of those situations where, a, you know, something like a dock worker disguise of impeccable quality would mm -hmm, certainly mm -hmm. come in handy. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Gotcha. Just, well, just I saying. mean, luckily, I've got my travel kit always ready. Uh, so, you know, let me see what I can do. I don't really have any fabric right now, but you know, I'll make some work. Don't worry about it. I'll yeah, I'll, I'll work on it. We'll figure it out. And I'm, I'm just going to sit in the back seat and start like, trying to take like pieces of my own fabric, like cutting like my sleeves off my shirt and stuff. And I'm like, okay, now what if I made this like the waist and go around there? All right, you know what? It's like cannibal. Like, you, you don't have to do that. You, yeah, you don't have <laughs> no, it's fine. I got it. I got it. I'll make it work. It's like slightly <laughs> disturbing, but so fascinating. Eventually, you can make it to the Tacoma docks. Uh, the area that he's coming in on is a private dockyard. So okay. you can only see it through a gated area. Sick. Okay. Um, is there a place we can get up high from here? Uh, there are a couple warehouses that you could get up onto, onto the top of that kind of overlook out onto the dock area. I'm assuming they're full of people, though, right? Uh, yeah, but you can get lost in the crowd pretty easily of the workers. Okay. Because they don't really seem to pay any mind. I mean, they're unloading crates or moving things into the warehouses. Nobody looks at who's going on to the top of the warehouses. Okay. Um, I mean, if, if we really wanted to get an outfit, we could just try to take one. We could, but I don't know that uh, if, if we don't have to, you know, hit somebody over the head right now, I think that would probably be good. You know, we certainly don't want to attract any more attention on a job of this scope and nature than, than necessary. So maybe we, we just try to walk in there. And if do we have an out, idea on how to figure out the identity of the target? Uh, don't you have like a picture of him or something? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. In the original just... package that you got, there was a picture of an elf. Right. Do, do we need right. to know who he is? To... Uh, I'd like to get an idea because if we need a very specific bullet so he dies, that seems a little... I'll, I'll counter with maybe we don't want to know who this is. If that's the case. Maybe we just want to do this job and then forget that it ever happened. Oh no, that's, that's in the plans. I just want to know so that that wasn't a joke, by the way. No, that's that's. I, I meant that, that. That's fair. 
I just want to know that if I fire a gun at this person, my soul isn't going to get pulled from my body or something. I don't know what you magic users do, but... Hey, well, that's not I, that's not my my department. Like, you got to talk to a major about that stuff. I just think it wouldn't hurt. I... I mean, we we can. Yeah, not... We don't got to figure it out right now. I know we're still scouting. Just want to get an idea if anyone had ideas. Yeah, I'm, I'm mostly right now. I think we should just focus on how are you going to put the bullet inside of them, and then we can figure out who they are. I assumed it was going to be with a gun. Zero. Um, do you do it a different ideally. way? Do you what? Do you Pew. yeah? Do you just hold it and then like with a hammer, just really hard? I've just... been working on a prototype uh, finger gun. Mm. 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 Okay, I like it. Yeah, it's basically just a PVC pipe with a bunch of black powder packed into the yeah. back of it. Yeah, just you know, light it with back. a lighter. Yeah. yeah, nothing could possibly go wrong. All right, so we're we getting on top of this warehouse or what, guys? <laughs> yeah, yes. I'm done. Let's go. Okay, um, I guess the look for the most direct way to get upstairs. Yeah, there's ladders on the side of the building okay all right I, you can go up there it's not it's there's not like no, no cameras off. around or anything like they're not trained on the tops of the building they're looking to see what's going into the building okay you into usually the have dock they're gonna watch the dockyard not the yeah they're watching the they're watching the dockyard and they're watching yeah they're, they don't care about the birds that land on the roof all right well there's yeah, yeah that's that's good with me that's fine with me um mm -hmm. okay all right, so so we get up there. Uh, is this like is this little private harbor, uh, dockyard area thing? Um, what does it look like behind this gate? Uh, is there just like one? Like I'm sure I'm sure there's more than one slip, right? Yeah, there's two or three. Okay, so it's only two or three slips. Does it all lead into like one walkway? Uh, yeah, each of them, each of the slips will connect to one main walkway. It'll come down that. Okay. Um, well, zero. I see a. I see a perfect choke point right here. I mean, he's going to be outside exposed. Can you can you make this shot? I I. I'm pretty sure I can. Yeah. I mean, I saw you shoot a grenade out of the air one time. I mean, I have supreme confidence in your abilities with a rifle, sir. What can I say? You can say, yes, I can make this shot, no problem. Oh, yes, I can make the shot. Yes, I, I can say that. Fantastic. Fantastic. That's what I like to hear. Mm -hmm. uh, this this may be uh, this may be the direction that we want to take this thing, gentlemen. Um, the only other thing that I'm concerned about is, uh, is a body double. Mm -hmm. This is an important person. There's potential for for something interesting like that. I mean, you know, you know how I do things. I... If I was a much more important person than I am, well, I'm pretty important, but, uh, you know, if I had somebody that, you know, I had to watch out for, like Zero, then uh, I would maybe consider having somebody like me pretend to be them. And then, you know, so I, I think perhaps finding a way to uh, identify this, this subject concretely uh, is going to be a next important step. And I may need to talk to Amazing about that. I have a question for you, Luke. I always have an answer. When you were investigating with the hotel, mm -hmm. what did they say was the policy regarding how he's going to get there? Uh, they, Are they providing a vehicle or does he have his own? They, they didn't. I didn't want to press the question or tip our hand and have mm. people poking around asking questions about other guests and things like that. Um, mm -hmm. I am going to assume that the hotel is going to be sending one of their vehicles perhaps several of their vehicles, uh, considering the importance of this person. Because if we could figure out the vehicle that he's going to take and potentially get you into the vehicle with your face sculpting as like the driver. It's possible too. We could then make sure that we would have the right person in our possession at that point and then set him up wherever we want him to, to give Zero the shot that he needs. That's that's also possible. Mm. I like the idea of picking up the person with Loki or one of our guys, have the Valkyrie show up and divert attention for the rest of the cars so that in the chaos, you take the car somewhere else. Um, maybe set it up to... I. This is what happens when you watch Carl Combat Mages. You see things like a cinema. But mm -hmm. if we could somehow 
get some sleeping gas. You hear me? Mm -hmm. We get it in the car mm -hmm. so that you put on a gas mask and then you push mm -hmm. a button in there. Mm -hmm. And then he's asleep and then you take him in an alley and then pop, pop. It's very 009. I like it. Mm -hmm. I like it. Oh, yeah. Now, what if we use oh. the Valkyries to create the diversion and then Loki just stops the car and then you just shoot the guy from like six blocks away with your gun? Well, I think we have to get him out of the car. Um, but I have I have ideas for that, too. Mm. I, like, yeah. I know one sure fire way to get him out of the car. Are you going to light the car on fire? fire? That, yeah, yeah. The, oh, yeah, yeah. That was, that was the I, joke. Uh, yes. yeah. that, was, that was the joke, yes. Okay, I see. Um, <laughs> maybe, maybe not light the car on fire. But, you know, well, we can table that discussion for later. I think the first important thing is going to be we need to figure out how we want to do the approach to this. Do we, because realistically, with the concerns that you brought up regarding the body double potential, I think that the only way that we're going to know for sure is getting the vehicle that he's going to be getting into, either intercepting it as it's coming from the hotel or intercepting the driver and having you be in charge of the vehicle the whole time. If we get information on the security detail, we can also figure out whose eyes are going to be where. Mm -hmm. They'll probably give specifics about what kind of vehicle, mm -hmm. what kind of routes they're taking. It, I, it just occurred to me that they may or may not have their own snipers on the roofs, and this mm -hmm. person's that big a deal. That's um, a good point. In which case, that would also be something to consider of if I can get the skies for that, assuming we figure out all the details of the route and then that way it's not as alarming if i have a rifle that's true and then in the chaos oh rifle went off something um hmm. well I, I think the main the main thing that we're on right now is uh confirming the identity on the day and then putting our plan into action so mm -hmm. i i I'm not opposed to being the driver. That seems a little bit scary. I am an expert driver, as you know. You are. <clears throat> it's I, true. You know, I'm very, very good at driving. Uh, that said, being that close to a security detail seems like being in very close proximity to lots of guns and knives and pointy sticks that are not good for a body <laughs> such as mine. Um, well, but realistically, Loki, I mean, all you got to do is just not mess up, right? That's true. That's true. Then uh, you don't have to worry about any of it. So just don't mess up. This, mm -hmm. Nothing can Remember, go Zero, wrong. The, the, they have given you the location where you can pick up the uh, the specialized bullet. Yeah. Yeah, I was thinking of picking that up on the way back. You want to go get your bullet? Sure. We can, we can talk about this a little bit later while we think over how we want to approach this problem. Absolutely. Let's do it. Sure would be helpful if we had some type of spellcaster person in our group that could say, go into, you know, the astral mm. and see mm. that the target that we would be going after is the person that we're supposed to be going mm -hmm. after and wasn't mm -hmm. somehow cloaked by magic or something that could be possibly changing his appearance that's, to look like somebody else. That's what I was thinking. Um, we have one. We knew yeah. somebody like that. We, well, I, mean, I, I, I know really, a guy. I do know a guy. Uh, um, Hopefully he doesn't die. Mm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That's fair. Uh, so zero the coordinates to pick up your specific package. You're going to some elevated train, and uh, it's a locker number that they're giving you, and you have the code for. Okay. Um, you guys want to come with, or should I just go get it by myself? Sure, I'll go with you. I'll go with. Okay. There's nobody around. I mean, there's passengers waiting for the train but it yeah when well, there's like nobody around they that's exactly when the ninjas show up okay <laughs> never trust that there's nobody around that's the so, biggest lie are... i would rather have a packed room than an empty room yeah we can't summon the lockers here either so uh, yeah you can't there are people that are waiting there on uh on the train uh and when you go to uh open up the locker there is a large duffel bag that has been stuffed in there I have so many duffel bags now. Well, this one's okay. pretty large. Like it's as big as you are almost. My God. So it's like two, <laughs> two and a half feet. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yep. That's me. Uh-huh. So yeah, you, you can get the uh... 
package. The package, yeah, I guess that's the best phrase for it. The silver yeah. bullet. <laughs> Are you gonna ex in inspect what you've got? I, yeah, I just. I'm gonna put a hand over it. Not here. Let's do it in the car. Mm, okay. You really wanna open that here? Like, No, I was just. I want to peek. You can make it back to the car and uh, peek inside your duffel bag. Um, there's a long briefcase that's been stuffed in there. And then uh, a small box. Okay, we'll, we'll go from small to big. It's like Christmas. Okay. okay. So uh, inside the small box, uh, there's that bunch of, you know, cushiony styrofoam. Mm -hmm. uh, and then there is a single bullet. Single bullet? Yeah, one bullet. It's about this big. <laughs> okay. It looks like it has a, a <laughs> nor normal casing around it, yeah. uh, but the bullet itself looks odd. There's no nothing etched on it or anything like that. It just looks odd, uh, and there's even a slight almost reservoir of something behind mm. the initial bullet. Yeah, can I look at this bad boy later? Magic um, poison yeah. or something? <laughs> something. Uh, and I will... Oh boy, oh boy, okay. Uh, it okay. also, on the back, um, normally when you, when the firing pin hits the, the mm -hmm. bullet, that's how it... There are also uh, four other little points on the back of the bullet as well, which are strange. I will one day mass produce these, maybe. We'll see. We'll see. Okay, okay. cool. And then I will open the uh, long box. Mm -hmm. Golden uh, light. <laughs> inside the longer uh, briefcase, which took up most of the, the duffel bag, is in pieces, uh, looks like some kind of rifle. Zero got toys uh today. Happy birthday to me. As as Zero opens the case and the light just shines out on him, I just look at him and go, are we happy? I'm so... I've never been so happy in my life. I've never been so happy to kill somebody. Uh, if you do inspect it, this rifle was definitely specifically made to fire this bullet. Yeah, we can make adjustments later. Okay, cool. Uh, cross that bridge when we get to it. Okay. That's uh, that's what's in there. Yeah, yeah. I'm I'm gonna look into it later when when uh, I mean this uh, this bad boy got some alone time. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I don't know what you're gonna do with that in your room, and I don't want to know. Inspect it <laughs> uh, uh, thoroughly. <laughs> that's what the kids are calling it these days. That's what guys, they're calling it. Yeah. Guys, he's gonna f that gun. <laughs> This TikTok generation over here. Like, <laughs> oh my god. Wow. They're roly. All right. Uh, I, I, I guess I, we're going back, right? Yeah. yeah. Uh, back to back to Jotunheim. Well, we, we get back, I'll uh, send Mr. Nemo a text and tell him we're, we're ready for uh, for pickup. Uh, you immediately get a, a response back saying uh, that team is on the way. Okay. Uh, within an hour of having sent that, these two uh, APCs pull up to Jotunheim, and uh, only two guys get out. Uh, they're in full security armor, and uh, you can see two letters are embossed on the security armor. What? What letters? K E. K-E, huh? Uh-huh. Look at that and they just Oh, God. <laughs> oh, and they just, God. They just show up. We're here to pick up. And it comes through, like, uh, you know, the microphone. Right. Projecting out through the helmet. We're here to pick up a package. Uh, certainly, I have two packages for you. Uh, they're rather large. Just right, right this way, gentlemen. Sure. I'll, I'll uh, lead him upstairs. He'll like tap his helmet twice, and you see uh, three or four other guys. 
<coughs> come out of the back also in security armor. Yeah, I'm gonna snap my fingers and call some of my lieutenants. <laughs> like all just of my look, lieutenants. <laughs> just to look uh, beefed up. <laughs> in terms of firepower, if you did get into a fight, that's not looking good for your lieutenant. <laughs> no, it's really not, but still. Uh, they'll run upstairs with you to the hospital wing. Mm -hmm. uh, they'll go into the infirmary and uh, you watch two of these guys go back to your patients. They'll uh, open up uh, a box that they brought with them and take out some kind of rig that they attach to their arms. Mm -hmm. Uh, and it looks like it's some kind of medical biomonitor or something. Yeah, as, as you're doing them. that, I'm going to stop. Uh, 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 the leader who was uh, there first walks up to you and just thrusts a cred stick into your face. Check it. Uh, the original amount, it has the original rest of the amount, which should be, what, 5,000, mm. right? Uh, plus uh, an additional five. Oh, oh, They're all yours. Pleasure doing business okay. with you. Tell Mr. Nemo that we look forward to future endeavors. I'm sure he will be in contact with you. Good day. And they just take the two guys, load up into the APCs, and you watch them just peel out of there. Kaze Zero, do you know who those, that was? No, but they had really cool suits. That was Knight Errant Security. That's scary as hell. This Mr. Nemo guy is Ooh. serious business. You guys you would mean know those that. guys. Those guys were the guys that you pretend to be every time you enter a room with a gun. No, that's Lone Star. Oh, that's Lone Star. Sorry, my. Uh, bad. They are. And these two, guys are cool. Knight Arant and Lone Star are the two competing, um, like police force companies. Uh, yeah. okay. Does Lone Star have cool robot suits? Uh, Lone Star does have security mm. armor as well. Yeah, like Lone Star, maybe in, not as good, but who knows? In in this time period, Lone Star is like the big company, and Knight Arant is like the <clears throat> upstarts. Oh, that okay. that gets flipped on its head later. After some things happen, you guys will find that out when we do some of these podcast episodes. Yes, you will. You will see what happens. Yeah. Um, fantastic. Okay, so we got some money now. Yeah, you guys have money. And Zero has new toys and mm -hmm. more information. And and I've got juice boxes. Right. And you've got juice boxes. Mm -hmm. Well, uh, I'm going to send a couple of texts to, uh, to Applejacks and okay. uh, tell him we need to see if he can track down a uh, track down a truck that may be transporting solar panels and solar panel related accessories. Uh, <laughs> Okay. And uh, figure out where it's going to be and when so that it can maybe, like, not go to its destination and say, come here. <laughs> um, and then uh, I'm going to shoot him. The, I'll have Zero give me a picture of, like, his the picture of the target or whatever. And shoot him over the information that we have on that guy and tell him to poke around and see if they can find out who this guy is and what his story is. Um, okay. And we started on that. And then uh, there was one other thing too. It was the solar panels. It was the dude. Oh yeah, and uh, and see if he can figure out uh, if there are any reservations. What's the hotel called? Uh, I always have to get back to you okay. on that. I had it in the. I had it written down, and I have to right. find my notebooks after having moved. So. Right. Um, yeah, Sorry, gonna... everybody have him look and see if there are any like uh you know reservations on or off the books for like a high level dignitary from the tier okay uh so we can maybe find out what room this guy is staying in um they give us maybe more options uh something like that okay. and then you can uh, get started on that how much is he gonna want uh for all of that mm -hmm. um not having to do any Major legwork. There's no blueprints. Uh, Eight hundred new yen. All right, I'm gonna send a guy with a cred stick down to the ATM to just give that to him right now. <laughs> okay. Oh, sorry, Kaze. Let Kaze go do it. Sad. 
So while he's uh, talking to Apple Jacks and getting all this set up, is there anything else that uh, Kaze and Zero wanted to do? I'm spending the remainder of the evening mm-hmm. looking at this gun, of course figuring out, studying it. Uh huh. I'm repairing my outfit since I tried to cobble together a dock worker's outfit to no avail for no purpose. So I gotta yeah. kind of get everything you, you've got to fix it. Mm-hmm. You didn't have enough fabric. Mm-hmm. Sad. Uh, Zero, while you're looking over everything, you can roll me your uh, your rifle skill so you can kind of try and identify this. The best way to describe it is that it is it is a rifle, but the bullets it, it's firing, it'll fire the bullet, but then to give it extra velocity and kick, uh, the bullet also fires rockets out of the back of it. Wait, you just gave this man a bolter? For the Emperor! Yeah, I did. (laughs) It only holds one bullet. So it's a prototype bolter. Here we go. The rifle can only fire one bullet at a time. My palms are sweating. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, So... You have no idea what's in the payload of the bullet, but uh, this could be fired from an extreme range. Ooh. Cool. Cool. Just to give cool. you some some thoughts. Yeah, I, I in the in the time that we've like went to the mall, mm-hmm. and I've gotten like um like some crayons or something or like <laughs> something that I can I want to write on the wall. I'm writing like notes on the wall about like. <laughs> Uh, like um material as well as like you know diameters i'm drawing out like sketches of these things so so you've got like children's chalk that you got from the mall and you're able to write on the walls (laughs) do they have whiteboards to run they have what whiteboards yeah they have whiteboards okay next time i go to the mall i'm gonna get like 13 of them (laughs) um and i'm gonna fill them up okay it's Papers. Sure. Uh, otherwise, I would have a sketchbook, but we can't. Paper is scarce. Things. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, instead you've got chalk outlines all over the walls. Sick. Fantastic. Not crazy at all. I'm not crazy. No. Mm-mm. Anybody Just walks like in here, they're <laughs> definitely not going to question what's going on. Kaze's going to walk in and go, "Hey, here's that red yarn that you asked for. I don't know what you're going to use it for, but I... oh, you'll okay. see." And just right. writing, just random writings all over the place oh yeah this is my rabbit hole and you are definitely jumping down it oh boy leaping well uh, i think we've gotten some good information we've accomplished one run to be completed for for mr nemo and now we're uh looking into our uh, assassination plot i think that's that's good for this evening and we can catch up with team b and c their predicament next time. Night Aaron Security Unit 1 reporting. We have the package and are en route back to base. Additional support requested via Patreon uplink. Currently present at the rendezvous location are assets Sephiroth, Suzy Q, Crimson Gecko, Frank, and the Rogue 404. Advise additional recon via Matrix feed. Subscription recommended for alerts when Intel package is updated. KE1 returning to base.